Sarah Hussain and this is Joey. Joey is my dog. He's a miniature schnauzer. He's quite big, but he is a miniature. And he has been washed and blow dried. His pads have been cleared, ears have been plucked and cleaned, and his groin and bottom have been trimmed. So today we are going to be grooming him to breed standard, but we will be clipping him with a 7F on the body. For show, schnauzers should be hand stripped, but in salon we always clip. Their coat is very hard to maintain if you've got a strip, so it's much more easier for the dog and for the owner to have them clipped. So today we're using the wild clippers. We've got a 7F blade and we're going to start right from the back of his head, keeping the skin nice and tight. all the way down to the base of his tail. Now Joey was groomed about eight weeks ago. He just grows really quickly. <laughs> so right from the back of the head, use your thumb to keep the skin nice and tight so you don't get clipper marks. All the way down to the base of his tail. Good boy Joe. So then your next line, you're bringing it right from the back of the head down to your shoulder. Keeping the clippers nice and smooth as you go. Using your thumb again to pull up the skin to keep it nice and tight. We're then gonna go Follow the way the coat grows. And put him in his skirt. On a schnauzer, it's more of a tuck than a skirt. And it's quite low, it hangs just off their ribs. So just run over the coat again, so it's down to your shoulder and skim off. If you skim it's less work you have to do with your blenders after. So we don't want any drastic lines, stand and right down, just hanging off the rib cage. Again when you get here, if you skim out so it blends in your line a bit more. And then on your schnauzers, you need to go down the back of the back leg. So all this, you need to expose the muscle. Just keep following the way the coat grows. And again, use your clippers to blend in your lines. Stand. Good boy, Joe. Right the way around the back. Good boy. And then your back, sorry Joe. All of this, you don't want any coat there. So nice and clean. Nice, all the way down the back of the leg. And your point, you're going for is your ball patches. So where they're naturally, their coat changes direction and it thins out, from there to there you don't want any coat. No furnishings, no hairy bums, nice and clean.
Oh, Joe, stand. Just keep going over to get nice, neat clipper work. And then you just repeat on the other side. Right, so we're going to clip down Joey's chest now. And you want to come right up and down. They have a nice flat chest, they're a square dog, you shouldn't be seeing any big fans, nothing like a Westie or a Cocker, nice and flat. You can come over your rosettes. This coat naturally balls here, so it's fine, don't worry about that. Boy Joe. So nice and tight and clean. Again, use your clippers, good boy up to flatten it down. There we go. And then this V here, put your clippers in reverse. Gives them a nice tight neck. And then back with the grain to blend in your line. So you need to make sure you cut all this coat off behind their ears. So when you look at your schnauzer, it's nice and flat. There's nothing protruding, nice and flat in line with your legs. So I'm just going to use a bit of scissor spray. It just helps to get rid of any static in the coat and gives you a nice finish. So come all your good boy. All your coat out. Joey's got really big legs nice flashy boy. So in the salon they might not have the leg, legs like this or to this length. Some of them have quite a wispy coat but it just it's the same procedure it just depends on how long or how short you go. So the first thing you do when you start on their legs is I start on the shoulder. So you don't want anything protruding again past the shoulder. It should be nice and flat an extension of the top of their shoulder here. So with the straight scissors, just take some of that. Good boy, Joe. Nice and flat. So then I go to work the back of the front leg. So again, brush this all up. Good boy, honey. And comb all your hair back. And the first part, I use my straights. So just straight down. Good boy, Joe. And then I bring my curves in, because you want a curve into the bottom of their foot. So their, their legs are basically, if you imagine a baseball bat upside down. So now we're at the top and slightly rounded at the bottom. So again, use your straights at the top of the leg and then just curve in to the bottom of your foot. Then you're working the 
side of your leg. Again, I'll bring my curves in here, so we've done it straight there. I'm just creating, good boy Jo. Rounded shape. Stay still. Joey, stand up. Stand up. Good boy. And then the front of your leg. Brush all the coat out. Again, just a bit more spray. And then just straight down. When you do your front, you're aiming for your toe. You don't want, on your front legs, you shouldn't see a foot. It should be nice and tube-like. So keep combing the coat up. aiming for your toe. Good boy. Then I'm going to go around the foot, again using my curved scissors to create a nice neat shape. And then you can take the back of the front leg off, taking the underneath of the foot off, just above the pad, very still. It gives them a nice shape. They're a bit more on their tippy toes. If you keep in your head what shape you're going for and work the scissors round to give you that shape. It's a nice shape round the foot. Good boy, Jojo. Good boy. Good boy. Got a fan club, Joe. My advice for any of your clients so you get, you get that come in. A lot of them like the shape of the dog and like the full legs but can't manage it. So they need to be in every four weeks. Schnauzers map in a moment, so especially in the rain, in the mud, in the park, they're not the cleanest dogs. They like to run around and get dirty. Their legs will just mat instantly. So the owners need to be brushing them regularly every day after their walk and they should be in being groomed every sort of four to six weeks. Any sort of length like this, Joey is washed and blow dried at least twice a week to keep his legs nice and stain free and in full shape. So don't forget to do the inside of your legs. A lot of people forget to do this, but it's just as important. Bit of scissor spray. There you go. Good lad. Stand up. I'm going to use my curves just to create the rounder shape. If 
you're worried about making any mistakes, you can use your thinners just to take little and often so you're not taking too much off. Good boy, Joe. Now. So all angles of the leg. Good boy, Jojo. Are oh, trimmed. Natural front leg. All right. So now we're going to start working on the back leg. Joey's got nice, big, flashy hocks. Um, again, not all of the dogs that you get in the salon will have hocks like this but it's the same principle again, you're going to the same lines. So, first line, run your hand down the back of the hock. His pads have been cleared and we're just gonna trim the coat that's overlapping his pads. So he's got a nice set for when he puts his foot down. I'm going to brush your hock up. Sandra. And then we're just going to trim the edges off. Working your way round this foot. Stay Joe. Now on your back leg, which is different to your front, so your front leg, you, just, you don't want to see your foot, it's nice and true. Your back leg, you want to see a slight shape of the foot. Not right back, but we're just going to come in and then kick again, slightly out again. There again, brush all your coat forward. And anything where you want a natural curve, I use curved scissors for. So we're going to come right up here. Good boy, Jojo. And you're going to come in, stay. And then go around your foot. And then we're going to brush this coat up here. Stay. And we're going to take some of this weight out. I'm going to use my thinners here. Good boy, Joe. Here's your bit of a shape. And then where you stopped clipping, so your clipping lines, blend those in. So just run round with your thinners. Boy, Jojo. A nice tight foot. And if you feel like it's still a bit heavy here, about to clip it, so with your 7F blade, 
Done, baby. And just skim out some of that white there. Good boy, Jojo. So I'm just going to sharpen this line up a bit more. And you can see we've created a slight foot here. Nothing major, just so you can see the shape. That is your front and your back leg. Good boy, Joe. So we're going to put in Jojo's skirt here, or tuck as it's called. I'm just going to clip slightly lower. right in behind the front leg. Yeah. Right, so the highest point on your skirt should be just behind your ribs. So we're gonna go, it's at a slight angle, his is quite long now, so we need to take it up a good bit. So I start at the highest point, Again, you can do with thinners if you're not confident with the scissors. And get all the bit in the middle as well. Push that down. And it's at a slight angle. And take out your middle bit. And then we're going to bring you, we need to bring it into your leg. So everything on every, any dog should always flow. There should be no dead lines. So I'm just going to use my curves here to create an arch. And if you brush your leg out, all of that should then just flow. You can go over your leg again if you need to. Good boy, Jojo. Push it down. Your bits. So on your boys, a good way to remember the length is when you stand back from them, you should be able to see the tip of their little bits underneath. So once you've got your shape, just sharpen it. run your thinners along to take some of the weight out. So it's very short, no, no long skirts on a shower schnauzer, should be nice and short, flowing into your back legs. Right, so now we're going to 
finish off Jerry's chest. So you can see all this coat here, it's way too much. It needs to be nice and flat, so we're going to scissor it down. So it blends into your front leg. Good boy, Jojo. Here's my straight scissors. Pull this off. So really nice and short. Good boy, Jo. Jo. So you've got it nice and flat at the f when you look at it from the side. So there's nothing slipping out here, just nice and flat all the way down. So we need to now trim this up here in between his two front legs to match the length of his tuck. So if you take your scissors, okay, good boy. You can always lift your front leg up and come from underneath take all this weight out here. Good boy Jojo. Keep your dog standing nice and straight. And on my schnauzers, well with Joey, I don't clear his armpits um, because it keeps this flatness here. If we were to clear his armpits, he'd have more of a gap where we just want it to flow naturally nice and to keep, give him some balance in there. On your pet dogs, you may have to do that just because if they don't come in regularly, they just end up getting matted under there. So for anything, if you're doing any sort of competition grooming, Keep your armpits, but just brush them regularly. Good boy, Joe. Right. Do the inside of his back legs. Right, so back end of a schnauzer, really nice and clean. So you can use a number 10 blade, all this off. Don't worry if it goes baldy looking. And males just clear all around their bits. You can lift the leg up and get it right up into there. You have to be careful with your pet dogs about going too short on areas like this because they can irritate if it goes too short. Joey's well used to it, so he's fine. What you want to be doing as well is keeping these patches here in the inside of his back legs clear. So run your clippers down with a number 10. All that there. And for the shows with Joey, I'll then put chalk on this so it doesn't look as bald. It just gives it a nice padding, but never anything left on the back of the schnauzer's legs. Stand straight, Jojo. Now the inside, brush it all out and you need to make sure, sorry Joe, that you've got the same length on both sides. So just trim up, again use scissor spray if you need to, to keep your balance. So when you look at him head on, your coat, you've got the same amount of coat on both legs. Good boy, Joe. So if we go on to our tail now, schnauzers should have a nice clean tail, no fans, no pom-poms, nice and clean. This is, this is eight weeks growth on Joey. So it's really, really long. He goes really quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a combination of blades. So I'm going to put a number seven, as we did on his back, all the way down to the end of his tail. Good boy, Jojo. I forget, baby.
And then I'm going to switch blades to a number 10. Turn around, Jojo. Show me. Oh, that's a good boy. Look that way, look out the window. All of the back. Put a number 10. Nice and clean. And you can take all your sides off. Long tail. Joey's only 18 months, so he's, he has got a nice long tail. He's not no dog tails anymore. And then you can just check that your bottom is nice and clean. So you don't want anything hanging off the end of your tail. Don't you? If there are any bits, trim off right at the end of the tail, nothing past your natural tail. So a nice clean tail. Boy Jojo. Right, so now we're gonna move on and do Joey's head. So on your schnauzer, it's a nice tight head nice and brick shape so we're going to do it number number 10 on top of the head i'm going to do a number 30 on joey's cheeks for a pet dog or in a dog any dog that comes into the salon i just do a 10. joey ha is used to having this fine blade on his throat so it doesn't irritate but again if you used a really fine blade on a dog you didn't know they could really rash up so the first thing i'm going to do is his ears so again, you can use anything from a 10 to a 15 blade. Work your way all the way around the back. Good boy, Joe. And on the, sorry, Joe, on the inside, really nice and tight as well. If you keep your hand behind as a base, you can get a lot of that coat off, so it's a lot less work to scissor. Good boy. So the same again on this side. Inside nice and short. Ears are nice. Good boy, Jodo. Ears are plucked, nice and clean. Schnauzers, again, something that you have to really try and work with is getting their ears plucked. A lot of them don't like it, so if you just do it bit by bit, they should get used to it. All the coat off. Using your hand as a base. So now we've clipped our ear. So now we're going to scissor right around the ear. So hold the scissor between your thumb and your index finger and scissor up. You always want to go upwards. There's less chance of cutting the dog's ear. Nice and tight, right against the leather. Turn your ear around. Nice sharp tip. Two nice clean ears. Right. So now on his head, we're going to do a number ten, and you're going to come right from behind the brows down to the back of his head. You don't want to go onto your body because that was a seven, so that would be too short. So make sure you only go to the back of your head. So nice.
and you can go over your ears again to blend them in. All this take some of that weight out of there. Don't worry if there's any marks coming up or if we're going to put our body blade back on and blend that down. So a nice smooth flat head. Okay, boy Joe. And you can keep doing a 10, or I like to do a nice 30 on Joe. And what you're looking for here is the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth. Pull all this beard forward. Anything behind comes off. And you can continue down to your V. That's one side. Again, pull all your coat forward. You can hold the beard in your hands. Anything behind comes up. And then lift the head up, your boy joke, and all of this. What you're looking for is your whisker points. So you've got one whisker point just here, another one underneath, and another one here. And basically you're playing dot to dot. So anything behind your whisker points needs to come off. So you're just left with a nice beard, nice tight sides. Right, so we're going to clear the corner of his eyes. Nice and clear. Good boy, Joe. You can also take off the lashes so it gives it more nice and clean there. Same way. And down. Stop, Jojo. Good boy, you'll be able to see. And then trim his lashes off. Right. And then if you brush your eyebrows to the side. Um, schnauzers have a split brow, so all this in the middle, in your stop, needs to be nice and clear. Boy Joe.
format. So that's your split brows now. When I do the scissors in the eyebrows, it helps if you put a little bit of spray on the brows just to keep them together. So you can use the hairspray or the thick and thicker or anything just to give them a bit more hold. Good boy. And it just varies now on how long your clients or your owners want the brow. So I'm going to keep Joey's quite long. We're just going to put some shape in. So what I use is curved scissors. If you use your curves upside down, try not to let them twitch. Stop, Joe. Put your blade. Good boy. So you have to try and do their brows when it's quiet. If there's lots of things going on, they twitch and then you end up cutting too much off. So the same again on this side. And use curved scissors to create that natural arch. So with a schnauzer, you see their eyes from the side. You don't necessarily see full on. and trim anything past the eye. It should be nice and tight, nothing past the eye. Again, underneath, if you can see those bits there, just to sharpen it up. Then you have to check they're even, which they're not. Stand. So when you look at him head on. Good boy, Joe. It's great. Got the nice sharp sharp brows. Right, so then the last bit is we just need to blend in the, your beard line just where you clipped either side. Just blend that down. And then comb through your beard. You're not supposed to trim your schnauzer's beards, um, but I know people do come in to the salon and ask us to for pet dogs, um, which is fair enough because they do get really mucky and they get matted. So if you have to, your best bet is to use thinners. Good boy, Joe. Can't see your nose. Just to tidy up a bit, but it should be left natural. And any of the brown staining, that is just staining from the acid in their saliva. There's not much you can do about it. Joey's got a nice, lovely long beard. The beard won't grow forever. It's not like their jackets or their legs. It will stop because it naturally breaks when they eat or when they play. So that's your beard. Deaf natural. Good boy, Joe. So this is Joey, all finished. He will need to be trimmed again in another six weeks, I'd say. 